Hello everyone, this is Ernie Hartman, Technical Services Manager at AMP Global. In this video, we're going to review how to update the firmware on an RP4.2 interface. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I have a RP4.2 TY11. I have a micro USB cable. And I have a USB connector that is plugged into the USB port on my laptop. So. Since we're doing an RP4.2 TY11, we come over here to the website and search that part number. There it is. So we go ahead and click that. All right, now that we're on the product page, if you come over here and click on firmware tab, you can see here we have step by step installation instructions. So if you need to review later, it's here for you. So if this is the first time you've ever done this, you'll need to download and install the Radio Pro PC application. It can be found at the download tab on the very bottom of this page. So we scroll down here. There it is, Radio Pro PS PC application. Hit download. So I've created a folder on my desktop called Update Files. It's a good idea to do that. That way you save everything to the same place and you can find it at a later time. So we'll go ahead and click Save. So then the next step is to download the firmware file that you need. So obviously you would want the one that's at the top of the list there. So we'll click Download. And again, I'm saving this to the same file or the same folder, Update Files, on my desktop. So we click Save. Okay, now that's there. So next step, we want to install the Radio Pro PC application. So we browse to that folder. So there it is. So we go ahead and click that. Now if you've got Windows 10, you'll get this uh, warning here. Not to worry. We're not malicious. Very harmless software. So you click more. Or run anyway. So now you get this window. So we go ahead and hit next, and then next, and then install. So we get this warning from Windows. We click yes. All right, click finish. There we go. Now there's two ways to get to the software. You can either go to the newly created shortcut, shortcut on your desktop or you can click the start button down here and scroll down to Radio Pro which would be here and here. Okay, so now here's our software. So now we want to go ahead and connect the module to the computer, but before we do that, a very important step, these four dip switches right here need to all be down. So here we go, we've set those down. So we'll go ahead and connect USB to the computer, and then the micro USB to the module, like that. So now we've got the blinking LED, which tells us it's communicating with the computer, and you can see here we're registering software version 43, so we want 47, so we go over here to firmware, and then we click select file, and now here we are in the folder that I created, there's our new 47, so we'll double click that. It says current version 43, new version 47. Do you want to update? Yes. All right, update complete. So now we hit OK. Now we can see we have 47 on the module. And that's it. We're good to go. So that was updating the firmware on an RP4.2. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video.